This is question number seven and it's a non-calculator question. We're told Rob has drawn a design for a solid rectangular box with a lid to store his books in. The dimensions of the box are three meters, two meters and x meters. In part A for two marks we're asked to sketch one possible plan view of the box in the space below. Remember a plan view is a bird's eye view. We're looking down from the top. We're only asked to draw one. I'm going to draw all three on here. So what we'll have are three different possible configurations. I could have this one, which is a two meter by three meter. With this one, I do need to keep this looking proportional so the two can't be longer than the three. With this one, I could say that this was the X, so X meters, and this is three meters. We don't yet know the value of X, so we can't say whether this side is shorter or longer. We could have this one to be the two meters, and this now to be the x meters. So these now are the three possible plan views. So any one of these is perfectly fine. It says now the dimensions of the top of the box are actually three by x meters. Given the surface area of the top of the box is 12 meters squared, in part b, we need to find the value of x. This part carries two marks. So don't spend long on it. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a sketch, but we certainly wouldn't be expected to do that. My sketch now is going to have my box. I've just now been told that the surface area is going to be of this box 12. So if I write this in, the area is going to be 12. I know that one side is three and I know that the other side is X. The area of a rectangle is the length multiplied by the width. So we can say the area 12 is equal to three multiplied by x, which is three x. So dividing both sides of that equation by three, x is going to be four. We will get one mark for setting this up and the other mark for solving. We don't have to put x is four meters, we're just finding the value of x. In part C for three marks, we need to find the total surface area of the box. We could use these right here with x is equal to 4. What I'm going to do here is just a quick sketch. Again, this wouldn't form part of my answer, but will hopefully give you some idea of what's going on. So I'm going to have now my box, and let's go ahead and do that. The box is going to look something like this. So just put in now the sides on, I'll put some dimensions on, and then we'll tidy this up. So it'll look something, give or take, like so. So what I've got then is this box. Now we've got three different panels on the box and we're going to have two of each of those panels. So if we look at this one, this is going to be the three by the two and this now is going to be the four. So we've got three, two and four. The area of this one is going to be two times by three, which is going to give us six. The units will be meters square, meter squared. If I've got one here, then I've got one round the back also. I've got a front and a back. If we look at this one just here, this is the four by the two. Four by two is going to give me eight. I've got one just here, and I've also got one on the other side. So we need to do two of those. On the top, we have the four times by the three, which is going to give me 12. If I have one on the top, I've got one on the bottom. So just setting this up, I'm going to say now the surface area. So we'll have surface area. We're going to have two lots of the two times by three. We're going to add to that now two times the four by two, so four by two or two by four. Remember multiplication, you can do it in any order. Three times four is four times three. And then we'll have the four times by the three. So that's going to give me six, and I can say that this is going to be 12 meters squared. This is going to be eight, Two times by eight is going to give me 16 meters squared. Three times by four, four times by three is going to give me now on here 12. I need two times by 12. Two times by 12 is going to give me 24 meters squared. If I now add all of those up, I'm going to get 40 and that's going to be 52 meters squared. So that now is the total surface area of the box and we would be offered three marks. We'd have now one mark for our work in our here, one mark for the answer and then the addition at the end with the correct units.
the examiner can see clearly what I've done to structure my question in part C. Let's now look at part D for two marks. We need to show that the numeric value of the volume of the box is less than the surface area of the box. So all we're doing is looking at the number. So what we can say then now is the surface area, we've already found the surface area, surface area is going to be equal now to 52. That's the numeric value. I can say the volume is going to be the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. If you're unsure on the volume of a cuboid, this is a prism and we can use the front of the exam paper to find the formula. We find the area of a cross section and multiply it by the length. So what we can say then from here, and I'm going to just state this, that now gives me the volume. We can say therefore the volume of our box is going to be 2 times by 3 times by 4. So it gives me now that the volume is 6 times by 4, which is 24. If we were asked for the units, this would be 24 metres cubed. We can say now that 52 is greater than 24, and that is the question answered. So I've shown now the surface area is 52 on the last part. I've considered the volume is the length times the width times height. So for my two marks, I compare the two and show now that the numeric uh, value is going to be less. The surface area is bigger than 24. OK, so that's part D done. We're now told Rob is going to build the box from panels of wood. A 4 by 3 metre panel costs £4. A 4 by 2 metre panel costs £3. And a 3 by 2 metre panel costs £2. He will also need two tubs of glue, which cost £1.20 each. In part E for four marks, we need to find the total cost of making the box. So let's set this up. Let's start now with the panels. So what we'll do is set this up and we will start with the panels. We are going to need now two lots of, and we'll write this in, or two times, two lots of each of these. So what I'm going to have then is two lots of, and we can do them in the order they've given, it really doesn't matter. So we'll have two lots of the four by three, so four times by three. We will have now the next one, and that's going to be two lots, so two lots. So let's just put two lots of that one. So we'll have two lots of now the, the next one, which is going to be the four by two. So the four by two, the four by two. And then we're going to have two lots of now the last one remaining, which is going to be the two by three or the three by two. They said three by two, it's exactly the same thing. So what we're going to have then is the following. These are my panels. So what I can say then on here, we're going to have two times by the four pounds. This one was four pounds a panel. So we're gonna have two times by four pounds, which is equal to eight pounds. We're going to have two times by the next one, which were three pounds. That's going to give me six pounds. And then finally, we're going to have two times by the two pounds, which is going to give us four pounds. If we add all of these together, we're going to end up now with a total of 18 pounds. So my panels have cost 18 pounds. It's clear what I'm doing here. So glue, we need now two lots of glue. So two lots of glue. So nice and clear to the examiner what I'm doing. So we're going to have two lots of £1.20. That's going to be equal to £2.40. So I've got now the cost of my panels. I've got the cost of my glue. I'm just going to write now the total. We can add it in column form or we can just simply add them together. We're going to have 18 plus £2.40 and that is going to give me 20 pounds and 40 pence. So that now is my final answer. That's what it's going to cost Rob to build the box if he wants to go out and do that. You can see clearly this is set up. We have the panels, we have the glue and we have the total. There's no messing about. We've not scribbled anywhere. We've just written it down and the examiner can clearly pick up the key values. 18, 2 pounds 40, 20 pounds 40. If we look back, we could probably actually answer the questions ourselves uh, based on, or we could write the questions based on the answers that we've given. 
So in total, we've got two, four, we've got uh, seven, we've got nine, 13 marks. That's taken me 10 minutes to do 13 marks. Remember, in the exam, generally you have an hour and a half to do 100 marks.